He's dead. Okay? It's dead. Doesn't matter how it happened. Ignore the fact that I have two extra Pokeballs on my screen. He's dead. It's gone. It's over. We're never gonna see freaking Moon Shoes again. Okay? Spizzles is dead to me. Moon Shoes is dead to me. Jump Luff is dead to me. Ramon is dead to me. It's over. And now, we shall continue on. What's going on, guys? You're hanging with Horny Tack. I'm gonna try not to be insane today. Um, whoa! Nice damage, dude. Are you gonna kill yourself? Oh, no! You're supposed to kill yourself! Oh, well. Um, welcome back to my Pokemon Y Butterfree Solo Run. Uh, I am recording this shortly after the last one. And, uh, I never thought that is... Every time I think, like, man, this thing's gonna be easy. Of course, this happens with everywhere on YouTube. Like, anytime, or in gaming, anytime I think anything is ever going to be easy, it never will be. It's just not allowed to be easy, because we're gonna run into troubles like a freaking, the grass type gym, with the, I, both of my stabs are strong against grass. If I, I wish I had Gust, I just realized. I thought Gust would never be useful. Turns out I found a situation where Gust would have been really useful. Oh well, as long as this Weeping Bell doesn't kill me. Which, it doesn't. Oh my god, you just got wrecked. Uh, we are fine. We beat the gym. I'm a happy Caterpie. I'm a happy Hardy, and a happy Hardy is an entertaining Hardy. Although apparently a lot of people do like angry people as well. Like, the internet uh, is based around people screaming and being mad and angry and stuff. I mean, if you look at, like, some of the, the top channels, just people doing really stupid stuff or yelling a lot. Yelling is a very popular thing. But we now have access to use fly, which is completely pointless to us uh, as we can't fly anywhere. I was the one to point out. Okay. You know, no, I'm not going to point out what I was going to point out because then if I pointed out that thing, then it would have pointed out something I did. And I don't want to point out what thing I did because I'm ashamed of the thing I did and I don't want you guys to know what I think I did. So I'm not going to point out anything. Ignore what I say. Though it is really stupid that that door doesn't open until you beat the gym because I had to walk all the way down this stupid thing and then walk all the way back up I don't know why that doesn't open until afterwards but um in case you're wondering why uh, I have two extra pokeballs with me it is simply because Lucario and Lapras simply they just wanted to support me in that battle they they knew I needed some emotional support and they thought you know you know what Hardy we care about you you know Beto is a very popular Pokemon from my past who has come back to the comment section and started commenting again, which I thought was very really special. And uh, Aurorian is named after a close friend of mine. So it seemed only fitting that they would want to be there to provide emotional support for me. And uh, what do you want? Freaking Redbeard. Oh, you're talking about Mega Evolution. Whatever. Oh, that just reminds me. Apparently, I've <laughs> last time we had like a one of these Hellcaster things. Um, I accidentally messed up and said Holocaust, and I'm like, uh, why would anybody make the Holocaust in the first place? I didn't mean to say that. I promise. I didn't mean to insinuate that, like, the Holocaust... Well, actually, I mean, did I? I don't know. The Holocaust was a horrible thing, wasn't it? Like, that was, like, where they killed all the... Am I thinking of the right thing? I don't want to, like get my facts mixed up and like assume one thing is the other you know what let's just not talk about the holocaust today what sh we should talk about which i completely ignored at the beginning of this video is that this no go across no go across get across the no see now you got into wild pokemon battle your one job was to go across the rail and you messed that up. and it's an arena trap pokemon actually i don't think arena trap affects uh, flying pokemon anymore right Well, that was like the most pointless turn. I see. I don't. Can, I don't think you could actually touch us. Yeah, I was gonna say. I think the reason why it's failing is just because of speed, which apparently Duck Trio freaking outspeeds us. Because if it was be no go across, if it was because of Arena Trap. It'd say like the ar what? Uh, you know what? Whatever. I d I don't even care. No, get away! I don't want to battle you! I don't want to battle you! I don't want to battle you! Get away from me! You know, I'm gonna walk in my shoes. Get away, stay away, stay away. No, 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 no. Can we pick up the key now, or do you like have to talk to the guy first? Nope, okay, that was easy. <laughs> uh, that's, I've never actually tried doing that before. If that's the case, can we just like skip you? Or, 
No, we have value. Alright, whatever. As I was trying to say before, I got distracted by freaking dog trios and rails, and I like rails. Rails are fun. I used to be really into skateboarding, and, um... One thing, oh my god, I got distracted again. <laughs> this video is part of one and only Team Gatorade Takeover, so if you guys want to show your support and continue brand new videos every 12 hours, although I'm not 100% sure there will be videos uh, tomorrow, as I did mention earlier, tomorrow I will actually be... Actually, there should be, because I can record those today, which is actually tomorrow, because I'm recording this in the past, two days before... It, no... I'm recording this Monday. This is going up on Wednesday. Yeah, I should have videos eventually. Um, either way, tomorrow is... T tomorrow, if you're watching this now, tomorrow... Not tomorrow if I'm doing it. This is really confusing, okay? I'm not even going to bother putting you to sleep because you're going to have a freaking early bird and just cause me worlds of trouble. Although, you're probably a flash fire one just to make my life a lot more difficult than it needs to be. Although, your special attack dropping will be really nice. Speed up is useless. This video is part of Team Caterpie Takeover. I never actually get that out because, holy crap, I get distracted more than a squirrel when he sees nuts. Or a gay guy when he sees nuts, I guess. Um, so if you want to support the, the takeover and get this and see a brand new video, just 12 hours from now, please feel free to show your support and get this video to... See, I don't know what goal to give, because we don't always hit the goals, and when we don't, it makes me feel bad. But when I set them really low, I don't really feel like it's a challenge at all, because that's something we're going to get anyway, so it's not really like the takeover. And I got a comment a few days ago, someone saying like, wow, you've really gone downhill, I mean, look how few likes you're getting, and I'm just like, oh, okay, thank you for making me feel really bad about myself, that was really nice of you to say that, because I felt really shitty, like, I, it's like when someone has insecurities, you don't point them out, like, I have a, uh, wow, you're suddenly faster than me. I have a uh, receding hairline, and I get super offended and pissed off when anybody points that out. Like, my sister does that. Like, she pulled back my bangs like, wow, you have a receding hairline. I'm like, wow, you're a bitch. Uh, I hate when people point out things that I'm, like, insecure about. And I know that, like, I'm not as popular as I used to be, and I don't want people pointing that out because it makes me feel really crappy about myself. And it's just rude in general that you just randomly do that. Huh? Oh, I dropped the key. Oh, if only <laughs> it's like when the freaking dude in Leaf Green and Fire Red just, like, poops out the key. <laughs> it's like I'm doing a freaking running man. <laughs> oh, that made me so happy. I don't know why. It shouldn't, but it does. I wasn't pretty sure. Um, someone in here heals you up. Oh, that's right. I really dislike this music. People in this room. I think someone... I think someone... What? No, go away. I don't want to battle you. Knock, knock. Who, who? Knock, knock. You, who? Knock, 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 knock. Me, who? Me, too. Seriously, though. Who are you? Only authorized personnel are allowed in here. Can I go in now? Oh, awkward. Wait. There we go. Er... How is... How is your arm so short? Like... Your hand is right above your head. When I do this, my hand is, like, off the camera. I don't understand. Oh, but you have a scraggy. Okay, so it's not like you're going to cause me any issues, but... <sighs> Team Flare is, like, the weirdest freaking villains. Oh! I'm almost dead! <laughs> I thought I had more HP than that. And I also I thought I was, like, about to go healed up anyways. So, I completely forgot that was a battle here, but... As I was saying, um, let's go with a light goal of... Does it even matter? Because, I mean, I'm just going to upload the video in like 12 hours anyways. Did, do I need to heal up? No, I don't need to. Uh, the team you got to over is basically your guys' way of showing support. When in reality, I, I'm i going to upload a video anyways. Like, there's been a few times where like, oh, well, you guys didn't get it. I got to teach you rascals a lesson. But, um, I jump kick. That's adorable. I wish he would have missed it and just killed himself. That would have been the best thing ever. I better kill you here. Otherwise, I'm going to be in a really ugly position. Okay. Thank you. Do you have anything else besides a puny little scraggy? Oh, man, we're oh we're almost at Bug Buzz. I think Bug Buzz is, like, level 44 or 46. I did not think we'd have Bug Buzz, like, this soon. Oh, you have a Crow Gunk! That's... Oh, if you have Sucker Punch, actually, I'm in a really bad place. I don't think you'd have Sucker Punch. Son of a bitch! Butterfree, Butterfree, Butterfree! Oh, my God! Oh, I can't believe you had Sucker Punch! Wow! Please don't have anything else. I just want to go heal up. Okay. Thank you. I got. I just. I beat him, and his just. His life is just over. 
Like, he knows everything from this point is downhill. If you get... Fit. Is the age of the trainer really important? Like, the age of a trainer doesn't really equal Pokemon skill level. Who is the... Is that play? That doesn't help me at all. Who is the little uh, person that heals me up? I think it's... Is it you? Nope. Is it you? I'm almost positive if someone here is like, You are tired, pal. You should take a rest. Isn't anybody going to heal me up? Guys! Guys, I need attention. Um, well, you're an asshole. <laughs> I guess... I guess not. Okay. That sucks. Do I seriously have to go through this and, like, battle people? Because... That's kind of lame. I mean, I could theoretically use Giga Drain, because there are a lot of, like, Scraggies and stuff in here, so... Scraggy, like, Scraggy could die to a couple Giga Drains, probably. And, you know, we'll, we'll use you as a prime example. Assuming you don't have, like, any Houndors or anything, teach me. Teach me what it's going to be like if I use Giga Drain against your puny little scrap. Okay, you have a Crow Gunk. Never mind. I mean, I, I don't mind that because I can use Psybeam and Crow Gunks are very, very easy. The one really annoying thing with, um, and I noticed this, like, it's really bad in a lot of hacks, but Team Flare and I guess Team Rocket and all the teams to a certain extent, when you have strings like this where you battle them over and over and over, like you battle a lot of grunts, uh, it gets really, 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 really repetitive because not only are they not really challenging, I mean, they have, like, Scraggies and Krogunks and, um, Golduck, I guess, is somewhat threatening, but not really? Uh, okay, I, I take it back already. Ah! Wow, should have seen that one coming. Making my way downtown. Any day now, Team Flare. You're in for it. Any day. Oh, never mind. If they knew the trouble they were in for. <laughs> That's so weird, just like casually riding my bike in there. That looks so wrong. What I learned in boating school is put Gobats to sleep because they're a little bit terrifying when they know acrobatics, which in general is just a terrifying move as it is. Like, people complain about freaking Brave Bird. Acrobatics, like, I run acrobatics on my town flame because uh, I don't run an item on it. That thing hits everything. So if you wake up on this first turn and one shot me, I would be so devastated because I didn't save and I'm going to have to walk all the way back here. Thank you. Now I know I need to be afraid of Gobats. I should just start putting everything to sleep. Like, I was doing that for a while, and then I started getting, like, confident. Like, you know what? I don't need to put things to sleep. I'll be fine. I wasn't fine. Obviously, that went very horribly. But, now we got revenge, and we're learning. This is a learning experience, even though I feel like I haven't learned anything, because I continue to make really stupid mistakes. I got destroyed by a jump bluff. A jump bluff for an entire video. Absolutely horrible. I'm thinking while I'm doing this, I want to turn off move animations. But I don't know, because it's going to take so long just to get through here. But at the same time, I'll forget to put them on back for, like, important battles. Because, you know, I have sticky notes. I have sticky notes. We're going to we're gonna do this the right... I have a mechanical pencil that doesn't have any lead in it. I have sticky notes. We're going to do this. Move. And... Animatronics. Ah, Freddy. I'm going to put it on my screen. So I have to see it. Anyways. Uh, I really wish that... I wish this thing... I don't know why this isn't a thing. Um, you should be able to like edit the settings while in a battle. Like, I can understand why you shouldn't be able to edit like uh, the, the style you want. Whether you want it set or switch in the middle of a battle. Because that can get confusing. Uh, but you should be able to like turn off move animations in the middle of a battle. I don't know why you, you shouldn't be able to. That's just... Mm. Oh, oh, oh! See, now I gotta remember to actually turn them off. Also, I really need a drink, so I'll be right back. Okay, with the battles hopefully going a little faster, let's make our... And I also turned the tech speed on fast, because apparently that's not something I've done either. Although, when I was younger, I didn't even know, like, the options was a thing. I think when I was younger, I never once, like, ever went to options. I always just had the tech speed on normal, because I matched... I just always matched A anyway, so it didn't really matter to me. Um, I didn't know what switch and set was. I never changed the borders. I 
never uh, turned off battle animations. Like, that was weird to me. Like, turning off battle animations? That just seems weird. And I'm sorry if this doesn't make it as enjoyable for you guys. I'm just trying to pick up the pace a little bit because you got to admit, this game does take quite a bit of time. And some people are saying, like, you know, they're perfectly okay with the pace of this Let's Play. And I do think it's picked up. Like, it was really slow in the beginning. I feel like we're making better progress now per episode. Uh, I'm not nearly as frustrated with that. So, I'm happier now. So, yay! But... Uh, we, we'll keep Uvo animations on for important stuff. Like, when we get to the boss of the power plant area, we'll turn it back on. Because, obviously, that's, like, dramatic stuff. you got to make sure you, like, see all the intensity, you know? But yesterday, I put this on Twitter. It's either yesterday or the day before. But um, I had a bit of an epiphany. Epiphany. I also don't know how to spell that word. <laughs> My epiphany was not how to spell. Um, but I've been thinking a lot about... One thing I constantly think about is... YouTube because this is a huge huge part of my life. It's something I'm very very passionate about I'm always thinking of ideas or thinking of videos or or practicing my commentary um, Which I'm gonna get really really distracted really quick But one thing I suggest well, I get a lot of people asking me like how in the world do you talk to yourself? How do you feel comfortable about that? Um, don't you feel awkward? Just talking to yourself. I Practice constantly. It's not even something I do on purpose like when I'm driving somewhere um, If I'm not like singing to whatever song is playing I'm oftentimes just like monologuing to myself, like coming up with some random thing. I don't even prepare what I'm going to be like talking about, but I just start rambling on about whatever. Like I was just driving home because I had uh, adult things I had to go do. And I was thinking about the YouTube thing. I'm a hopefully, I really hope I'm going to on Thursday. And in my head, I'm like, what if I have to like give a speech, like tell who I am? And I just started off the top of my head with nothing prepared, monologuing about like, what I do on YouTube, what YouTube means to me, like, the impact it's had on my life, any, like, advice I'd give to people, none of it was prepared, I just, I just do that, and it's something, like, that's something I, I wouldn't mind pursuing someday, is, I feel like I'm really good at monologuing, like, I've gotten really good at, like, speeching, and, um, at speeching, <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm very good with words, and then I just use that example of, I'm very good at speeching, I'm practically a professional, but... Uh, when I get over my initial stage fright, I actually really enjoy, like, performing. Um, I don't think I'd be, like, a very good actor, because I'm not very good at, like, performing with other people. I, I'm more of, like, I'm not good at working off people very well. I'm more of, like, a solo kind of thing. But, like, a more of a emotional, emotional speaker or, like, some kind of comedian or something, I feel like that's something that would be very really well up my alley. Like, if I could get a job to travel around the world and just stand in front of a stage in front of a few hundred people and ramble about toothpaste for 30 minutes and get paid for that. That would be pretty cool. Um, like, I've just done ramblings about toothpaste. I literally just think of something off the top of my head. I don't even think. I just start talking, whatever comes out, and it's just practice, 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 and eventually you'll get the hand of this improv stuff. I mean, maybe you will. Maybe you're just not cut out for improv. I don't know. Um, or you can just do, like, oh, it's a light bird. Okay, that's a piece of cake. We're just going to use freaking uh, struggle bug on this light bird and oh my god look at that damage that light bird's dead you can just play by play is also a very common commentary style a common terry style ah commentary i feel really smart about that uh but it's not really my style like i do talk about the game when it matters like when i actually have to pay attention or during like uh boss battles i don't know what you want to call them in this game um stuff like that obviously i'll focus on the game but the rest of the time I focus on something else. What actually brings us full circle to what I was originally going to talk about before I got distracted with the whole um, monologuing thing is I've been thinking about how I brand myself on this channel. And oh, Bug Boys! Yes! Oh, I'm sorry, Struggle Bug, you're really nice to us, but that power, that 80 base power move, actually, maybe 90, I'm not sure. I feel like I'm doing more harm to myself as good because when you look at my videos, like, uh, if you pretend you don't know who I am and you just saw, like, Pokemon Heart Gold Nuzlocke, and then you just see a thumbnail of like an in-game screenshot of a Nuzlocke, of, of Heart Gold. Nothing about that makes you want to watch that video, because everybody else's videos look exactly like that. Everybody else just puts the game and then Nuzlocke. Everybody else uses screenshots that are just, or thumbnails that are just screenshots of the game. And I realize while I am playing Pokemon Y... I very, very rarely talk about the game. I very rarely pay attention to the game. If anything, uh, my Let's Plays, at least my more recent Let's Plays, are can be viewed more of like a podcast with just the game on in the background. Like, I'm just rambling about my life or some topic that I've been thinking about or just really anything with very minimally actually paying attention to the game. Also, Bug Buzz, I love it. We have it. And... 
I feel like if you just saw Pokemon Butterfree solo run and a picture of like me Butterfree or something, you would not think of my videos. You wouldn't think of my commentary style. Like you wouldn't see that and think, oh, I bet he's gonna have like some funny random topic about toothpaste, or he's gonna be giving advice to YouTubers or something. You probably just think, oh, it's Pokemon. Whatever. I've seen that a million times. And um I feel like I'm doing more harm than good to myself. And that's why uh come like my next series, I don't want to change anything up in the middle of the series, because I can I can I still turn on the options? I the the sticky note was useless! The sticky note was useless! Oh! <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Okay, I think we could change I think we could change before the next battle. I mean it's just a hound doom, it's not like it's gonna give us that much trouble. Actually it could, theoretically. Because I can't ever risk putting these things to sleep because of early bird. Uh hopefully bug buzz. Oh Alright then. Um but I think starting in my next let's play, which I don't know if it's gonna be Kingdom Hearts. I'll get to that at a later date on my uh, current stance with Kingdom Hearts 2. But at least my next Pokemon series. Uh, I think I'm going to brand it a bit differently. Because I want to make it appear more of like... Fitting my commentary style. I don't want it to just come off as like... a Based on the game. Because I very rarely actually talk about the game. Or focus on the game at all. But the titles of my videos and the thumbnails of my videos... Are very misleading to that perspective. Because it makes it seem like that is what I'm focusing on. That is what my videos are about. When like in this video... I've been talking about... Uh, how I want to brand things on YouTube. I've been talking about... Um, how... I've been talking about like advice for YouTubers. Uh, as far as like talking to yourself. I've been talking about... What else have I been talking about? I don't actually know. I don't remember anything. It's not even... Oh, I've been recording for 25 minutes, so I gotta remember, I, there's like 5 minutes of that that's gonna be cut out, but I'm talking about a lot of very, a lot of different things, and I have to start marketing my videos that way, because otherwise, I it took me way too long to realize this, like I've been doing these Pokemon videos for over 3 years now, holy crap, and it's just now occurring to me that the way that I market myself is very detrimental, like it's working against me, because I'm not sticking out at all, while my commentary and my videos, I do believe, uh, you know, stand for themselves and prove to be different from, you know, the normal videos, uh, they don't appear that way, like the thumbnail doesn't scream, oh, hey, unique commentary about, like, all this random stuff that has nothing to do with Pokemon Y, the thumbnail screams, hey, look, it's Pokemon Y gameplay, the title, uh, is usually just some dumb pun, and Pokemon Y Solo Run, or whatever series I happen to be doing at the time. It's nothing about what I happen to be talking about. It's very, very misleading, and I definitely feel like I'm really hurting myself because of that. So, starting my next Pokemon series, um, I probably want to start taking that a bit differently. This isn't going to affect like series like Scoreboard or uh, Smash for Victory at all, because those, I do focus on the game. And there's nothing wrong with that, because... In scoreboard, you know, the, the entire thing is me playing competitively, thinking out my moves, stuff like that, learning from things you guys tell me. Uh, and the same with Smash for Victory, is me, like, talking about the game, because it's very hard to have a completely different conversation while you're playing a competitive Smash match, because that takes a lot of focus. But with this, there's always so much focus. Like, I could play this probably with, like, my eyes closed, and I'm not even... Honestly, I'm not even thinking about what I'm doing right now. I know I'm going over to Lumios, or not Castellia, sorry. Um... But I'm not thinking about it all. Like, I'm not going to think about, oh, I have to run away from this Pokemon. You guys know I'm where I'm going. You know what I'm doing. I don't need to walk you guys through those steps at all. I don't need to explain like what's going on in my mind. I don't need to react to anything. I'm just going to ramble about whatever in the world I want to ramble about. And, oh, hey, we're about to meet AZ. I hope my hair is as long as that one day. Which reminds me, every time someone tells me to cut my hair... Oh, I don't know why. You people are not my grandfather. You're not my grandmother. You're not my parents. Stop telling me to cut my hair. If I look like a hobo, that's my choice, okay? And the same with beard. You're like, you're only going to trim your beard. Maybe I want it to grow out. Maybe I want to have, like, a nice long beard someday. Do you consider that? No. You always think about yourself. You're selfish. And that's not... I don't appreciate that. Maybe I want to feel confident. Uh, wait. No one knows here. Is this going to be one of the ones where you trick me? Oh, damn it. I, no, I should have taken for credit for that. I'm amazing. I'm good at everything I do. No, let me answer again. Fine, whatever. At least we can actually explore Wimios now. And this is why I see, like, a picture I saw uh, where they're like, oh, you can't go through here. We're doing, like, power plant stuff. And then 
They immediately show some girl walking by the guy. He's like, you can't go through here. And he just has, like, the straightest face as this girl walks past him. And it's not even on purpose, obviously. It's just the way the game's programmed. He's like, you can't go by. We're doing important stuff. There's no power. And this girl just walks by. And he's just awkwardly there, like, you can't go by. <laughs> it's just... It's the best thing. I love it so much. But... We are now in Lumios, or I'm sorry, not Castalia. I need to quit pronouncing it the wrong name. It's very rude of me. Um, I believe that is going to wrap it up for us today. And we, in the next episode, we will be taking on the fifth gym, which, like I said earlier, the game has really picked up pace, and that's something I'm really happy about. Uh, but I hope any potential like small YouTubers out there maybe took something away from this. Like people ask me for advice, you have to make yourself stand out, and that's something I haven't learned because. Uh, once you actually get in my videos, I do feel like they stand out, but presentation-wise, like, what about my video with like, saying, like, oh, Butterfree Soul Run, it doesn't show anything about me, like, it doesn't show anything about what's happening in this video, like, as far as the commentary goes, because the commentary is the main draw of this video, I, I like to think so anyway, so, that's definitely something I'm going to be working on for my next Pokemon series, uh, the future Kingdom Hearts 2, I will talk about that eventually, uh, because I've been having very uh, interesting thoughts about Kingdom Hearts 2 lately. Is it still going to happen? Yeah, guess we'll have to wait and see until next time as we pan up and say goodbye. That is going to do it for us today, guys. Remember, uh, I don't actually remember if we set a like goal or not in this video. Uh, just show me your support, guys. If you want to support Team Cat Takeover, please, please, please actually do it and hit the like button. It's very much appreciated to help grow the Team Caterpie army. But until then, I'm Marty Tegoyo.